Hello, friends, everyone. My name is Gregor Horat, and welcome to our another free video analysis on cryptocurrencies. As you know, cryptocurrencies have seen a massive drop in the last few days. Some of altcoins uh, almost retraced 100%. So it's pretty dangerous market, uh, but we still have to uh, have to understand the concept and the reasons why this is happening. As you know, there is a speculation that maybe at some point Fed in next meeting, they will do a 75 basis point increase of interest rates rather than just 50 because of the latest U US uh, CPI figure. So, um, of course, stocks are moving to the downside and in a real risk of mode on stock markets, obviously the other markets will also follow the same pattern. So, uh, because of a fear, everything is moving to the downside. All right. So, uh, what we are seeing now is a massive uh, liquidations of longs on cryptocurrencies happening across the board. But I really want to give you here uh, just a quick update on Bitcoin. We will also look at um, the S&P 500 real quick, Ethereum and Ripple. So, what is very important to understand is that if you want to be involved in cryptocurrencies, maybe looking for some longer term investments, just keep in mind that you need to have some historical data behind these coins. OK, Th those coins have to be um, have to be in the markets trading actively for more than three years, let's say. OK, so it means that we survived with those coins a few shocks that already occurred in the past few years. So that's very important to understand that if you want to be in cryptocurrencies, rather look for some uh, of those coins that already few, uh, went through a lot of cycles. And clearly, I mean, Luna was not one of it, okay? Even if it's good story, good project behind it, it's still a um, very uh, volatile market and can be very, very manipulated as well. Now, let's take a look on Bitcoin as a set. Now, firstly, I want to look at this, um, at this, uh, okay, sorry, it was some error. Okay, now let's take a look at this um, <clears throat> Bitcoin uh, pullback. Well, we talked about this in one of our past videos a uh, few months back, probably. Uh, we said that always when Bitcoin will make 70 to 80 percent of pullback, there will be a very interesting potential support for Bitcoin. Okay, a new cycle may change because when you see one market moving more than 80 percent to the downside as you know because of your a lot of traders investors will go out of their positions a lot of longs will be liquidated market will be very pessimistic and that's when actually cycle will change because that's how the market works the market moves in cycles if something is just overcrowded just be aware that the opposite may follow soon okay so here we are looking at bitcoin pullback almost uh, around 80%, I should say, uh, here back in 2018. Then we had 2020, another 70% of a pullback. And now you have from these recent highs, uh, also very nice pullback, but so far only 60%, there is room for still for 70%, okay? There you have also, when we are going to see this potential of further weakness, then around 20,000. Well, keep in mind that there was this previous uh, this previous swing high, very important one back from 2017. So I think that this could be quite attractive, quite attractive area. Also, if you look here, I posted this one on Twitter a few times. Um, it's, I call it um, gap check map, map. So it's actually an ongoing uh, futures contract. And uh, as you know, in whenever we see gap, usually those gaps will try to be filled. OK, especially if they um, if they remain open, because uh, there are probably a lot of orders unfilled in this area. So market sooner or later may can move back into this area to execute these orders before, uh, of course, flows will change, because when orders are executed, again, flows can change. So here I'm looking at the recent drop and notice that we came very deeply down towards 25,000 area where we had this gap back from uh, end of 2020. There's another minor one, um, again, from December, um, 
earlier December of that same year. So there's still a risk for further weakness. I think that 20,000, 15,000 uh, is potential target. Of course, uh, there is very interesting support, maybe not far away. Okay, Mark, this market is very volatile. So uh, of course, uh, we could see uh, very nice tradable bottom forming soon but it's not a bottom until it's confirmed by the market so you really have to understand this that we need to see a bounce a stronger one before we may uh we may say that low is in what is really exciting really interesting when i look at this gap check map is that we have this gap higher open from uh, from a week back or so it's around 34,000, and then you have this one around 53,000. okay so it's still um quite interesting if we will be able to identify a potential bottom formation based on the elliott wave structure as you know i love uh, to look at the markets from an elliott wave perspective because that's actually a tool that allows us to track the markets from psychological perspective so if we will be able to identify a low confirm a low here by the price action then of course i would have no issues to look higher here on bitcoin and turning bullish uh, also keep in mind on um, on on volumes uh, now here i have volumes at the lows uh, notice that there was quite interesting uh, volume here um, we had in the past here here and we have another very big one now as well so clearly there it means that there was a lot of orders triggering because of the recent break below 28,000. so i think that again uh, this could give us uh, an idea that maybe sooner or later we will see very strong support playing the role here here for a turn now uh, let's take a look also on bitcoin shor shorts versus bitcoin longs um, so this one is also very interesting. Let me just find this. Okay, so it's actually Bitcoin longs versus Bitcoin shorts. So what this market tells you is obviously if shorts are, if there are more shorts on the market rather than longs. Um, obviously because the market is moving to the downside, there are more shorts. But while, what I want to look here at this market is you can actually see that we are now moving to the late stages of these short cycles. Okay, so it means that there are just a lot of shorts going on, but again, when there are plenty of shorts, let's say 90%, 80%, well, this should be a region where we may expect a potential, again, reversal in cycles on this market. So uh, as you can see, we've been um, here around the highs when uh, Bitcoin longs were actually uh, increasing significantly here on Bitcoin back in April of 2021, then November 2021. Um, and at the same time, on the opposite, uh, back in June 2021, we had also uh, where shorts were worried, where when there was a lot of shorts and Bitcoin was actually looking for a support. So it's been the case here in June 2021, uh, then also it's been a lot of choppiness price action here um, since start of the year actually but now again we are seeing more importantly price breaking or trying to break the supports here around 28 30 000. but here these uh, bitcoin shorts uh, are moving into some of extremes so it quite be interesting here for a potential new reversal again or at least price stabilization but because of the market is uh, is so volatile just be aware that even if we see sharp drop to towards 15,000 still very possible and probable before the market moves to the upside now let's take a look also on bitcoin from an elliott wave perspective so i'm looking this um to be potential um potential wave four here okay so still not sure if uh, if wave four already is around the supports or no but as i said this 2017 uh, highs is quite important here for a potential bounce if you look uh, to even smaller time frames well i am observing this wave c to the downside well wave c of this free wave decline should be made also by five sub waves right but so far that's not the case yet so there is a risk for more weakness after the near term rally of course if the market would say let's say would move back above 36000 or close to this trend line resistance then this would be the first indication that we have a low in place especially if we see a break, a breakout here above this trend line uh, 
Now, let's take a look also on the S&P 500 versus Bitcoin. Okay, so as I said earlier, if the stock market is moving to the downside, we may see also move to the downside on uh, on the cryptocurrencies. And here, look closely. Well, I'm still observing this potential corrective pullback from the highs on uh, stocks. At the same time, we see VIX, known as a fear in the index, moving to the upper side of the range. So always when this happened in the last few months, well, the market changed the cycle and, ideal, and ideally wave four is approaching support. So if that would be the case, then of course, Bitcoin could also see some nice reversal to the upside. So if I overlay this uh, with Bitcoin, Okay, you can actually see that here we have uh, also, we are seeing a very nice move to the downside, obviously for the last few months when the stock market moved lower. So of course, if we want to be bullish cryptos, firstly, what you want to see is bounce on stock market. Stock market has to stabilize. And then if we see a confirmation by the price action itself on cryptocurrencies, that's when you may start to consider that cryptos have bottomed, okay? Now, uh, let's take a look also uh, very quickly here on the Ethereum. Also, we are tracking five waves down, five subways within wave five of C of a very big flat correction, very nice support around uh, 1,200 to 1,500. So, you are not far away from this area. Of course, 1000 is a very strong psychological level. Also Ripple, Ripple is coming to the downside, uh, probably in a very big triangle, but what I like here is that we are moving to the lower side of very big range here. Also notice that we may have a very big uh, wedge pattern here, known as an ending diagonal, now moving towards very nice support here. Uh, when we look back at swings from swing lows from February 2021. Also, we will have lost few details in the next few day, days from Ripple and Japan first uh, Ripple payment support on the e commerce uh, side has been uh, taken action by uh, one company in Japan which, as I read earlier, export about 5,000 used cars annually. So obviously there are, despite cryptocurrencies making a strong move to the downside, there are still some positive news coming out. And I think that this could be quite a big deal for Ripple if uh, they win this lawsuit. Okay, Torres, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed this video and talk to you soon. Bye.